This is the story of a family Bible which originally belonged to Amos and Barbara Wildfong in the 1800s and has been passed down five times bringing us to the present day which is the year 2020. Amos Wildfong was born in the year 1845. He's pictured here along with his siblings and as you can see he came from a very large family. In February of 1867 he married Barbara Funk. Interestingly that was just a few months before Confederation. This is a picture of their wedding certificate which I actually have in my possession. Amos and Barbara lived on Wild Fung Alley in Berlin, Ontario, which was later renamed Kitchener. Wild Fung Alley, which by the way no longer exists, was located in the area of the old city hall in Kitchener. Notice the postmark on this postcard. It's Christmas Eve of 1915 and stamped at 7 p.m. Amos and Barbara had several children and among them was a son named Isaiah Wildfong. Here's a handwritten note from Barbara. I've transcribed it so you can read it. It indicates that the Bible belongs to Isaiah Wildfong. This note is pasted to the inside cover of the Bible. Isaiah married Minnie Fisher and they had five children Clayton, Gertrude, Irene, Gordon, and Floyd. Gertrude was my dad's mother, in other words, my paternal grandmother. Here's a picture of a newspaper article from Detroit in 1930, and it pictures five generations of the Wild Fong clan. You can see the names listed below the picture. Isaiah and Minnie are buried in St. Peter's Lutheran Cemetery on Weber Street in Kitchener, just inside the gates. Isaiah also wrote on the inside cover of the Bible and indicated it should be passed along to his daughter, Gertrude Mitchell, or as he called her, Gertie Mitchell. Gertrude and my grandfather, William F. Mitchell III, were married on the 24th of June, 1913, in Berlin, Ontario. My grandmother and grandfather are pictured here with their children, my Uncle Bill, William F. Mitchell IV, my Uncle Jack, my Aunt Dot, and my father, Tom. The Mitchell clan lived at 125 Weber Street East in Kitchener. Sadly, the house was eventually torn down and there's just a parking lot there now. My grandparents are also buried at St. Peter's Lutheran Cemetery on Weber Street in Kitchener just a few hundred meters from the family home at 125 Weber Street East. They're just a few paces away from where Isaiah and Minnie are buried. Here's a note written by my grandmother. It's also on the inside cover of the Bible and it indicates the Bible gets passed along to my Uncle Bill. One day when my Uncle Bill was in his early 80s, he carried the family Bible up two flights of stairs to a book binding company in downtown Guelph to get it repaired. When he got to the top of the stairs, his heart stopped and he collapsed. An ambulance was called and amazingly the paramedics got there in time to revive him. He suffered no brain damage. A defibrillator was implanted in his chest and that extended his lifespan by about five years. My Uncle Bill passed the Bible along to his oldest son, William F. Mitchell V, who's my cousin, and 
cousin Bill passed the Bible along to me. So that's how it got from here to here.